Welcome to the channel. Link down below to credit the YouTube video where I'm getting this information from, even though a lot of this information can be gathered from multiple different sources. I would like to ask the question of whether or not you are bothered by your beloved wrestling hero not being aligned with you politically. So let's say you're a major Trump supporter and you find out that Batista is a Biden supporter. Does that in any way affect how you see them? Plain and simple. Does it prevent you from enjoying their matches as a result or anything of that sort? I used to be that person that used to be bothered by that. Well, not really bothered, but it was slight little, okay? Now I could just give a shit who you vote for. I have done too much studying in the last several years in politics, and that doesn't mean I know a lot or anything at all. But I have come to the conclusion that you can be a good person and support either candidate. First of all, I'm Canadian. But for the most part, as we know, superstars are American. Most shows are in the United States. Most Canadian wrestlers live in the U.S., Okay, so that's why I'm using, you know, the Biden Trump example, but it would be the same thing, whether it's Trudeau or Pierre Poiliev here in uh, in Canada, just a whole, you know, are you a liberal or a conservative or neither, right? I don't understand why it ever mildly affected me. I really don't. But I am really curious to see if the vast majority of people are bothered by it. Uh, I mean, for me, it's pretty simple. Sometimes one of the biggest things I came to a conclusion of as to why it's easy for me to look past a person's political preference is just because you're supporting, let's say, Joe Biden or Trump or Bush or Obama or Trudeau or anybody, no matter where you are in the world, doesn't mean that you're supporting every single thing they've ever said and done. A lot of Trump supporters will be like, yeah, I'm going to vote for Trump because I feel like he's going to have the best interest for the United States when it comes to border, you know, patrol and, and you know, safety of, at the border. That doesn't mean that you support any of the allegations that could be against him, right? And I used to be that guy that would be like, no, 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 if you support him, you're supporting everything that goes with him. That didn't last long until I thought about it one day and I was like, wait, 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 that doesn't make any sense. You're just nominating somebody you feel is the best fit for running a country, right? Doesn't mean that they're a, a role model that you necessarily want to look up to. So that's why for me, it's literally like an absolute non-issue whatsoever. I think my bigger issue would be if two people, let's say like Batista and Kane were to talk politics and they just can't be civil about it and it ends up becoming a very divisive thing, then to me, that's where the issue lies, right? Because oftentimes you'll hear, oh, this president, that prime minister, they're so, uh, you know, they're dividing the country. And that potentially could be true. But ultimately, in the end, you, in my opinion, you shouldn't be bothered by who someone support. And of course, there's gonna be, there's gonna be extremes. I don't even wanna say their name. Uh, because that could stir some shit in, in the YouTube algorithm. But there's there's some very evil people in, in the world. Like, I mean, like I'm talking like World War II, if you know what I'm talking about. And trust me, I'm not offended. I can say his name. I think I have said his name. But it can trigger stuff um, to be a sensitive topic. And I don't want this to be an overly sensitive topic. So for something like that, sure, that would bother me. Well, maybe I'll just say it out loud. If I found out a superstar was like, you know, part of the KKK or or they were like a neo-Nazi, you know what I mean? Like something like really extreme like that. At that point, absolutely, I would be like, oh, that's very disappointing, right? But when it just comes to like what I call basic, you know, politics, just you got this person, this person, and that person, and, and you select one, you choose to select one um, to run the country. 
I don't I don't get all wild into it looking at every detail that they support or don't support. I I look for more the character, the person. Like Kane and Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan is a Biden supporter and Kane knows that and they've butted heads amicably in terms of politics, you know, being on the road and all that when they were part of Team Hell No. Uh, but they were able to do so, like I said, in a civil way. So that's that's what I appreciate. So that's what I would have a problem with is if people aren't able to do that or, or if they do become what I call politically sensitive... Then to just be like, look, we don't we don't agree on this. It's it's not a big deal. Let's just move past it. Me, I like debating, and even in debates, it's not about being right or wrong. It's just about seeing where people are coming from. If you even care to see where people are coming from, from a political standpoint, and that's uh that's pretty much it. So yeah, I used to be one of those guys that would be mildly affected by it and be like, oh, how can you support that guy? He said this. He supposedly did that. Now I've like completely changed. And this has been like this for a good few years, by the way. This phase that I went through was very short-lived. Um, I was brainwashed into thinking what I was thinking. And now it's much more open-minded, like I said. And I respect people's uh, point of views. But like I said, there is, again, an extreme. People that will favor things like the KKK or neo-Nazis, right? All those extremes, again, then absolutely no. Like, that's where I'm like, yeah, forget this person. And I've spoken to some people that actually support those movements. And again, I was civil with them because if you think about it, how are you going to learn from somebody to see why they are where they are? in their belief system, how are you going to achieve a, a, a proper answer from them if all you're going to do is belittle them and attack them? Right? Doesn't mean you support what they're talking about, but if you want an actual legitimate answer and you're able to do so civilly and give them the actual floor and the time to give you a response, I've had some pretty interesting conversations, like I said, which in the end resulted with me never communicating with that person's again, but at least I was left with, oh, okay. Not that it justifies how they feel. But yeah, like I said, it can be a very complex thing, the world of politics and controversial topics. I actually have a YouTube channel dedicated to just that. And I tippy-toe on it often just because I want to be clear that people understand me correctly. Not that I care if people misunderstand me, really. I'm more scared of YouTube than anything. Like I said, if you say something that goes against the grain of their belief system, you question anything uh, that can be very controversial and very sensitive, you can be in a world of trouble, even if you don't say anything wrong or not wrong. So if you don't say anything like rude, you're not trolling. You could be asking a legitimate question. You would be surprised how evil YouTube can be in deplatforming you. And if you lose one channel, you lose all of them, and you are never allowed to ever be remonetized ever again. It's pretty crazy. Anyhow, I didn't want to make this video. Okay, it's under 10 minutes. That's good. I'm surprised it even went that long. I, th I was hoping this was going to be three minutes. I should have known better. But yeah, if you want to check out this video... Like I said, it's just kind of like a slideshow. Some of these, again, may or may not be accurate. This one's definitely accurate. I'm not going to sit here and start analyzing every single one. That one's accurate as well. Uh, like The Undertaker, we all know he's he's an amazing guy. He's an amazing person. But heaven forbid, you know, he's a Trump supporter. So a lot of people, again, Sonya Deville will be like, how could she be a Trump supporter? He's part of that LGBTQ, uh, you know, lifestyle. It's like, it doesn't really mean anything again. It's like assuming that all black people are going to vote for Biden. You know what I mean? Assuming the same, like it's, yeah, it's kind of bizarre. There's stereotypes. Sometimes there's a bit of truth in there. But again, you can never label everybody exactly the same whatsoever. So uh, this is a good place. To be. Yeah, as always, if you like the video... Uh, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm in trying to make me more relevant in the search results when people are looking shit up. And if you didn't like the video, 
go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half, twist it, and I'll break off a solo Sakoan spike in your ass. And again, to be perfectly clear, is your thumb, not mine, you dirty bastard. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, naturally, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe if I'm lucky, I will see some of you in the next one. Bye for now. Oh, one last thing I wanted to say, and this might sound bad because it's judging. It's judging. For the vast majority of them, and this is not looking at their Instagram. This isn't looking at their Twitter. It's just something about them. Them. All of them. Regardless of the promotion they're with. I can usually guess who I think their preferred candidate is. And more often than none, I'm actually correct. I just think that's interesting because kind of like a lot can be said about your political affiliation, but it doesn't dictate whether or not you're a good person or a bad person. So there you have it. Now, this one's not really accurate. I mean, he's not he's not pro either. And then at the very end, we have um, we have John Cena, who's a moderate independent. He's like, I'm out of this. <laughs> All right. Take care. Like I said, if I'm lucky, maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.